Hey guys, this is Shinx and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So in this video, um, yep, we will be we are back at this page and you guys already know this. We already know this. Sabo and Ace and and Fuji is coming. So, um, yep. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, uh, this is the uh notification for Sabo. So, Sabo is a red style attacker that um skill Ace get your technique. Is changed to Mera Mera state. Okay, yeah. And normal attacks changes increase uh range and it's a powerful technique that makes your damage party burn. So yep, let's just get started at the Sabo one. We'll obviously take a look at it twice so that uh those who are interested in just the gameplay can just go through. Okay. Oh, is this type of Sabo? Was I expecting that? Come on, nice. Oh, what is that? What? Okay, that is very, very interesting. Let's take a look at it again. I just want to confirm my eyes again. Okay. This guy seems really, really... Okay, so yeah, okay, that's his sprite. Very, very cool. Normal attacks, number one. Okay, it hits, it, he lunges forward to the enemy, which is very nice. And honestly, this normal attacks, I love it. There's nothing much. Yeah, his normal attacks is really good. I'm not complaining about anything. So this is his skill one. So from what we saw in the description, it increases the... It changes the whole normal attack and... Um, it increases the range. So I believe this is what happens. Once you use the skill one, it became it becomes a um, long range ability. So this is it. It's two hits now. So as you can see here, for Big Mom, he won two. Then that's all. I'm not sure if there's any more hits. But here, this basically them one tapping Dofi, and uh, next is skill two for Law. No, for for Sabo. So take a note. Take note that Dofi is. Roughly, huh? I feel like it's a short to mid range ability, but I could be wrong. Uh, seems very very close to short range. Um, it's essentially Kaienu O, but uh, basically Stampede Sabo skill two, but a melee version of it. Interesting. So yep, let's just. I then take note that he has this type of buff. You see, if you take a look at here when he fights Big Mom, he actually have a buff, and when he killed. Big Mom or something, he had a special, he had like a buff thingy, I think. Like, trait activated. But, he when he kills these two, he does, he didn't really have it. So, hmm, very interesting. For now, I don't know. I need to take a look at Fuji first, before I can judge how good he actually is. Okay. Okay, so this is Fuji. Fuji is a blue defender, blind swordsman, Chain defender that changes gravity and controls enemies movement speed and downtime. So skill meteor drop can drop a meteorite and cause a powerful explosion over a wide area. So yep, let's just take a look. Same thing. So oh, we have six thousand views. Oh nice, he's <laughs> he's using it as a walking stick. Wow, wow. Oh. Dung. That is Q1. Bruh, what is this? What, what, what? Oh, 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 oh! That huge range though. Okay, okay. He's attacking with rubbles. Reminds me like... Kuma's ability. Huh. Kapow! Man. Okay, so let's take a look at him. His sprite. 
seems relatively big. Essentially, he's bigger than Zoro, which obviously, because that's the case, then this is his normal attacks. Um, seems he moves forward a little bit also, like, yeah. Then he, okay, that's the thing. So, what my guess for this normal attack is, so, this normal attack, what it does is, it extends the down duration, which is, which is good or bad, because, um, let's say if you're trying to attack an opponent, and you want to get them off the flag ASAP, having extended down is not going to help any better, but, um, like I said, we need to test the extended down, because, um, it could be the shield thingy that we talked about last time, or, uh, also one thing to take note of is, if you take a look at the boa, uh, she got a speed down buff, so very, very interesting, because, um, this is the first time we have seen normal attacks that actually gave, I would say, essentially, uh, a consistent amount of speed debuff and special effects. Then, skill 1. Uh, skill 1 seems very, very solid. Um, not Doesn't look like a skill that you will use um, very, very close range. Because, like, this is the cast time. So, press, then go. It's not super slow. But yeah, then the range is also pretty damn good. Like if you take a look at it, um, it's essentially uh near nearly as big as a more than half the size of a half of the treasure. So yeah, very very good skill I would say. Then okay, this is the meteorite skill. So one thing to take note of essentially firstly is the cast speed. So you cast, then. 10,000 years later, but look at that range though. The sub, the did the boa and they didn't really uh, dodge, but yeah, if they dodge, they will be out of range, I hope. But I don't know, I have mixed feelings about skill 2. It reminds me a lot like the Ente Ace skill 2, because like, how to say, it's not, it's not instant. Like, you can use it a long, long way, and people might see the ring. If you take a look here, there's the special ring that's traveling there. So, you, I feel like enemies can easily see that and perfect dodge properly. So, yeah. Um, seems like a skill that can be dodged easily, but if not uh, careful enough, you'll get one-shotted. Right? Okay, then, one thing to take note of is when he kills an opponent, he gets a buff, which is very interesting. So, I don't know, I, I feel like he might, if he gets a heal when he KO an opponent, it will be very very huge, because he's a blue defender, and defenders needs to try to survive as much as possible, and killing will be able to help them. So yeah, I think honestly, that's kind of that for this um, gameplay video, so let me know your thoughts about them. Definitely, it's very interesting, because Sabo has a special mechanic that lets, the, lets him increase his um, range of his uh, normal attacks. His whole normal attacks changed so much, which is very interesting. Like, bruh, uh, and the long range, his normal attacks range is quite insane. It's it's probably very, very decent also. Then, uh, for Fujidora, the normal attacks is very, very good. Like, there's a special effect. Then, honestly, I think that's kind of that. Um, let me know what you guys feel about these characters. Um, my thoughts is, I don't know whether they'll be coming together as a banner or separate, or maybe one of them, maybe a, a cola unit, but they never say anything. We need to take a look at it tomorrow. So, if you guys don't know, the banners will be dropping in about, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 17 hours. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. Like, I'm trying to think out of my uh, timing as much as possible. So basically, the normal update time. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys will be summoning for him, for them or not. Um, I personally like the Sabo because I like the idea of having able to uh, change my normal attacks to long range. Um, but I kind of also don't like the idea of suddenly uh, having one less skill because you're changing to normal attacks. Changing your normal attacks. Then for Fujitora, Skill 2 doesn't seem that good, but skill 1 seems pretty solid, and his normal attacks also pretty, seems pretty okay. Um, I don't know if they are AX character or not, so... RIP! Then, yeah. 
I think that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys will be summoning for them or not. And you guys can let me know if they are worth it or not. For now, I'll just say wait out for tomorrow because there's no rush. They will, they'll be here for one month. So just sit out there and wait. So, yep. Uh, if, the, if there's a trades video, I will translate it and I will make another video. So, yep. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. And consider subscribing if you want to see more One Piece Bounty Rush content. Then... Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.